Okay, showing you one of my favorite bits of equipment is a rip stick. So these things can be gotten from most sports stores. I'm sure you can buy them online as well. They come with two bands. I found that the worst thing about my one was it came with a strong band and a weaker band. So I went and bought a second one so I can have two bands the same um, strength on here. But I love these things because you can do so much. Just this is one little thing you can do with them. Maybe at the end of all this, I'll just show you a whole workout you could be doing with a rib stick. So just arms are wide. And if I have my arms in here, I'm not gonna work my chest as much, arms wide, and I'm just going to row to the front. So you can lean into that. I would have one foot forward just to stabilize yourself and one arm, then the other arm. So you're trying to really, it's like you're rowing on a kayak. Yeah, so rowing forward and I can feel all my chest working really well. That's it. Beautiful. The other thing I can do here is arms wide and just press out this bar, bring it back against my chest. Out, bring it back, out, bring it back. So you want to keep this at about chest height. And again, I can feel those arms, uh, not just the arms, sorry, my chest working quite hard. This gets quite hard and it's also, you may feel a bit of a strain on your neck. So keep the tongue on the roof of your mouth behind your top teeth and um, hopefully you'll find that good. So that's just some of the things you can do there. One more thing you can do while you're here with your band, you can take the band off where we had it lying there and holding about, so out the front of you, about just over shoulder width apart. And all I'm trying to do here is pulling this out to the side. So some of you will find that too hard. You may need to bend those arms, but if you can, straight arms, pulling it straight out. And again, you can really feel that chest front of shoulders working hard. And in fact, the back of my um, upper back is also working hard, but you can feel it. You can hold it there for a few seconds or you can just take it out, in, out, in. But again, you can feel it right through here, which is where you want to feel it. So experiment around with that. See if you're a bent arm person or a straight arm person. And if it's too easy for you and you can kind of go like that, then just, you know you need to bring your hands back in a bit closer. If it's too hard, then bring your hands out, hands out a bit further on your band and make them a bit further out before you try and pull out. Yep. I've just attached two bands here to my rack behind me. Now I could whirl them around a bit more so I can hold onto the handles, but I'm not gonna wor wor worry too much. So I'm gonna do a fly, standing up fly with two bands. So I'm gonna make sure they're taut enough at my side and bring them, maybe a little bit too taut, and then bring them around to the front. So I'm doing a stand up fly. Now I can really feel those chest muscles working again. Beautiful. Or you may just have one band that you put around the back of a chair and you hold that band and be doing the same thing. So I've got my arms almost straight, slight bend in them, and I can certainly feel my chest doing a lot of work. Front of my shoulders too, but my chest is working hard. <sighs> Beautiful. And the other thing I've done, I've just got one band here, and I'm just gonna pop that around my little frame. And from here, I'm just going to do a row. So you can leave these bands on top if you want, or you can whirl them under. So now I've got mine just a thumb through them, and I've got my elbows up high, and again here I can do a press forward. Okay, press forward, the same as I did with the rip stick, but I've just got my bands and I'm staying wide. And I've just got a thumb through them, and pressing out. El el elbows can come back a tiny, tiny bit, but don't let them, in particular if you've got a very strong band, don't let them come too far back. So again, a good rule of thumb is always around the shoulders. Now you can be taking these down as well, so you can row them out lower. Okay, it's gonna obviously work your chest more with those elbows up high. So you can do high rows or low rows. And the other thing you can do is punch out. Just do some punches out. And again, I can feel all that chest working really hard. So if you want a nice chest, you want to make it look good in whatever dress you're wearing, or you just want to feel strong there, then hey, some of these are the ones that are easy enough to do with a band at home.